Welcome to BH. The Aero is truly our elite level triathlon and TT level bike. The bike itself and the geometry set was really developed around the needs and the requirements of our athletes. Um, one of the major contributors, uh, comments and input wise, was Ineko Janos. He helped to drive the positioning of this bike. Really, he was the extreme in this particular case in terms of ride position and need. His input directly affected the front end of the bike as well as the, the way the seat mast or the seat tube and the seat post is integrated as well as the adjustability at the top end of the frame. The Aero frame is developed around the three, same BB386 EVO bottom bracket standard that we use on the other elite road frames. By using this bottom bracket standard, we're able to achieve the stiffness that we require in the back end of the bike, as well as the distance between the chain stays in order to accommodate the wider wheel sets that we see in the market today. Runs a standard dropout in the back of the bike. The seat post uh, is somewhat unique in that it allows for four degrees of theoretical seat tube angle change, which allows the, the rider to better fit the frame the integrated uh, seat clamp into the frame, uh, moving to the front. In addition to the seat um, adjustability, seat post adjustability, we have the head tube and the, uh, the stem system, where the stem is offered in a range of sizes, going from 80 millimeters up to 120 millimeters in length. We also have a spacer system that allows you to raise and lower the stem up to 45 millimeters in spacing and then the stem itself can be inverted if additional um, fitting is required. This frame runs the steam standard integrated cable routing system that we have in some of the other elite bikes. And the fork itself, you can see that we run the brake in the rear, the integrated brake in the rear for advantage on the aerodynamics of the frame, as well as the same brake on the back side, on the back of the seat stays for the same purpose of integrating that shape and that form in order to get a fluid airflow across the entire length of the frame. Overall, the frame design itself is based upon mathematical uh, equations to, to achieve the aerodynamic uh, cross sections of the frame. In certain areas where we would like to achieve uh, greater crosswind advantages, we'll use a cam tail technique where we're basically cutting back the end of the tubes in order to achieve the cross-sectional shape that we want, but increase the overall performance of the frame. The Aero is a fully UCI compliant frame, and it is also important to point out that it utilizes our hollow core internal molding technology, which we've utilized to refine some of our elite road bikes. That technology on the inside of the frame allows us to control the wall thickness of desired areas to develop a very, very clean interior shape, which aids in the cable routing of the bike, but essentially allows us to control the layup far beyond any other manufacturer in the industry. Cuando me subo a mi Aerolite, lo primero que siento es que todo funciona, y muy bien. Es rápida, rígida y muy versátil. El aire entra y sale del cuadro con total limpieza, exactamente como te imaginas que debería ser una bici de estas características. Biomecánicamente me permite un ajuste rápido y sencillo del manillar y sillín. Y sus 13 centímetros de margen que suman el patín de la tija aero junto con los raíles del sillín hacen que pueda variar entre posiciones retrasadas y agresivas o adoptar posturas más relajadas. Con una esencia racing y estética diferenciadora nos encontramos ante un pura sangre que me hace disfrutar de cada kilómetro.